This is the Schober's test for lumbar flexion. The Schober's test for lumbar flexion provides a useful measure of available lumbar flexion during a forward bend. Start with the patient standing, barefoot and feet hip distance apart. To perform the test, locate and mark the PSIS dimples on the back of the pelvis and then mark a point centrally between them on the spine at the same level. Then measure and mark five centimeters below and 10 centimeters above. And then ask the patient to flex forwards whilst keeping their legs straight. Remeasure at end range and the distance should have increased from 15 centimetres in total to 20 centimetres or more. In this case, it's 22 centimetres. So an increase of five centimetres or more is considered normal. Now, lumbar flexion can be limited by lower back pain, muscle tension, ankylosing spondylitis, age-related changes, and of course, just individual variables. To see how this test can be useful for the management of lower back pain, Watch this video shown on the screen here on the flexion relaxation phenomenon. Please like if you found this video helpful.